Hello everyone and welcome to Programming and Access 2013, the Advanced Course. My name is Steve Bishop and in today's video we're going to be talking about linking parent forms to subforms. This is probably one of the most useful functions of Access. Uh, it allows you to take a selection that the user might make in the parent form and filter out your subforms based upon what that user selected from the parent form. A very common use for this, or a, a way that you can think of this, uh, would be if you selected a customer and you wanted to see all of the orders for that customer, well, you could display all the orders in a subform and allow the user to select which customer they want to view in the parent form. We have a similar situation if we look at the Northwind database in the home form. We have a combo box where we can select different employees. And when we select an employee, it actually filters out the active orders subform to show us just the orders that are associated with that employee. So we have Andrew here with a couple of active orders still. And then if we look at Nancy, we can see Nancy has a few active orders still. So what we want to do first and foremost is you got to make sure that the relationship is established between this piece of information and this piece of information. So the data itself needs to have relationships. And that is the very common relationship where we have a foreign key and primary key. If I look at the employees table, I've got a primary key. Uh, the field is ID, right? And that is our unique identifier for each employee. They have this special ID value, right? Well, in our orders table, we also have an employee ID foreign key. So the employee ID column is a foreign key that points back to the employee that is associated with that particular order. So we're going to rely upon this foreign key to primary key relationship when we are filtering out our active orders based upon the, user, uh, the user's selection of which employee. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new form that's going to act as our parent form. And this is going to be a little bit different than what we just saw on the home screen, but I just kind of want to show you a couple of different things uh, about this parent to child design. So we've got our parent form here and we need to first and foremost fill in this, this parent form with some data. And that data is going to be our employees, okay? Because based upon the employee selection is what's going to filter out our subform. So we need to have some information on our primary form. And for our record source, I'm going to click on the ellipsis here. I'm going to select employees, and I'm going to go ahead and add. And I really only need a couple of things here. Let me add the ID field, the first name, and the last name. That's all I need for this example. Just view that real quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that, save it. And now our record source is tied to this form. I'm going to also drop in a couple of things just so that we can view them. I'm going to have uh, three text boxes. And each one of these is going to be associated with the different values. So we have our ID field, our first name field, oops, first name, and our last name. Okay, and let's actually stretch these two fields out a little bit because names tend to get a little lengthy. And let's do ID, let's label these so we know what, they're, what they are here. First, last, nothing special, just something. Okay, so we've got our, uh, our bound form, right? Our, our form, our parent form is bound to this information. And if we view this, we can see that ID one is Nancy. And if I select through the different records here, Andrew is number two, Lan, or Jan, excuse me, is number three, Maria is number four, and you can see that I'm going back and forth between the different records. Okay, so now that we have that set up, let's go ahead and add our subform. Uh, I'm gonna go into the design tab and select the subform object here. And let's just draw a box here. And I'm going to cancel out of that. I'm going to go ahead and name this Active Orders. And just move that up a little bit so it's visible. Okay. Now our Active Orders subform, 
Let's go ahead and rename that to subactive orders. And I'm also going to change the names of these text boxes too. That's important to do. So txt id. Let's do txt first name and txt last name. Okay, so we've got all our labeling properly set. So let's save the form here. We'll call it form active orders. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add the object to our, uh, you know, let's associate the source object here. Now the source object, uh, I'm just going to show you here in our home tab. I'm just going to use this form that's already created, this active orders form. And you can see that it is active orders subform for home. That's this one right here, this, this form right here. So let's close the home here. Let's change the source object for our subform to active orders subform, and there we go. Okay, now if I just open this, we'll see that we get all of the orders still, right? Every one of these orders, nothing is being filtered at all. And if I change which person we're on, so we can see I'm, I'm looking at Michael here, and we still have all of the same active orders. So now let's talk, let's actually do the linking between our parent form and our subform. Go back into the design view here, and if I select on the uh, on the subform object, we can go into this data tab and see the link master fields and link child fields. So if I click inside of here, I get this ellipsis, and this will give us a little wizard window where we can select which master fields and child fields should be linked together. Now remember, we're linking the foreign key value and the primary key. So we've got the ID field from employees, and we've got the employee ID field or uh, um, column from our orders table. So what we really want to do here is we're going to select from our master field is ID, right? Because our master, our master form is our employees. So it's going to be ID, and that's going to link to the employee ID foreign key. So we'll select on that. We click OK. And now, just like that, we are filtering our users, our, our, uh, our active orders based upon the employee that we have selected. So here's Andrew, and there's Nancy, and I believe no one else has any active orders associated with them. So that's really as simple as it gets. Okay, You can have active orders. Uh, you know, All these active orders are now linked based upon the user that's selected. And I don't have to do any VBA code to do this, right? Everything is just kind of automatically done for us. Now, in the next video, I'm actually going to show you uh, something else that you can do with this linking of parent and child uh, forms, because it's something that you're going to want to do. Say, you know, we had this functionality here of this combo box. Oops, let's go ahead and say that. Now, the functionality of clicking on the combo box, and that allowed us to do this. But we see that it's not bound. Let's look at the data here. You can see it's the record source is strings for our parent. It's not actually our, uh, our, our parent form is not actually being bound in any way to any information that's relevant to the active orders list. So some of you might be a little confused about how this works. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to make this exact functionality happen where you can select a drop down box to actually filter out a subform.